vlogging after centuries. Finally, I am done with my exam. Today marks the day of my freedom. I am so happy. I am dressed up. We're not even going anywhere fancy, but I just felt like dressing up because I haven't dressed up for, I think, a month and properly. So today I just went all out. I did my eye makeup. I did my full face, like contouring everything and just, you know, I made my hair. I'm ready. Whoa, what's this? Um, so basically I'm wearing this kimono on top and I got this from Alvarez. I absolutely love this. I love wearing little kimonos. I think they add a little detail, like a nice little detail to your outfit and I really, really, really like this. And I really wanted to take pictures for a vlog but my sister's not feeling well so we can't really take pictures. Aww. Let's go. Today is an exciting day. I am actually going to Women's Own Magazine um, head office and they said that they want me wanted me to do like a makeup contouring look so that they can feature that in, in their magazine and yeah it's really exciting i get to go but i'm not sure if i'm going to be able to show you anything there because obviously they're gonna have they're gonna print that and then you can only see uh so yeah i'm going there this is what i have decided to wear I've decided to go for a nice little uh, top. I love the neck of this top. And then it's like really flowy. It looks like this. I'm wearing my trusties, my Joni jeans from Topshop and my outfitters. I love this. This goes with so many things and it adds like a little spice to the outfit. So I really like that. Uh, yeah, I am gonna wear different shoes. And yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup there and let's see how things go. Exciting. By the way, it's really hot today. So I'm contemplating wearing this. But if I take it off, I feel like the spice and the jazz from the outfit is taken away. So I'm gonna keep it on. Hello everyone, so um, as I told you guys, I'm here at Women's Own and I'm uh, actually doing a tutorial contour baking slash flawless glam-up tutorial uh, for them and it's gonna be out on Eve and it's really cool um, I've had a great time I've just done my face and it's really sad because I'm not going anywhere after this I'm just gonna go home and wash my face after getting decked up uh -huh. Farah doesn't want to be on and this is Amna hello hi uh, thanks a lot for your time and no so much problem. effort and you when, love when do we expect the issue to come out It'll, it's soon coming out probably by the first week of uh, July okay awesome okay. yeah Bye. that's good <laughs> Grab your copies, guys. <laughs> so this is my new friend. Hi. This is Farah. Hello. I work uh, for the Women's Own Magazine, and I'm so happy that you're here. And you yeah, and she's the one who co uh, contacted me, and that's why I'm here. <laughs> so yeah, um, are you happy with the look I did? Yeah, do? she's looking really beautiful. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Once so today is a Sunday and I am filming. Also, I would like to point out that I am from now onwards gonna upload every Wednesday and not Sunday because I film on Sundays and it gets kind of challenging to film, edit, and upload on the same day because I do have a lot of things going on. So I just want to put that out there that I won't be uploading every Sunday, I will be uploading every one. Other news is that I was actually filming today and also I was doing a shoot for a post that I'm supposed to do for Luscious and I just wasn't getting a nice photo. It happened to you that whenever you need a good photo, you get all dressed up and you look all right and then when you start taking photos, they just don't translate. I'm taking like a gazillion photos and none of them looks good. So that is what my dilemma is for today. No idea what picture I'm actually gonna select and send out because I don't like any of the photos that I've just took. Oh so yeah, that's the daily dilemma for today. Oh, I have a good news. Uh, me and my sister are starting a new YouTube channel and we're calling it ATM TV. And on that channel, me and uh, her are gonna be like doing really uh, reacting kind of videos and like just different uh, kinds of videos because me and her we get really crazy together and we came up with the idea why not start a YouTube channel because it'll be fun and yeah I mean it'll be fun for us I don't know how many of you are gonna be watching it so I'm gonna leave a link to that down below hopefully by the time I upload this video the video with my sister is already going to be up so that would be really cool if that happens go ahead and subscribe to that channel and show some love and support and I hope hello so today is a Tuesday, no way, today's a Wednesday and if you're wondering why am I home, that is because I am terribly under the weather. That is why I went to work but I came back early because I was just not feeling it. I was just, I'm so much better, I've taken a shower but I still, 
I still feel pretty sick. Got my home delivery. I ordered some books from a website called Fabingo.com, and they have like books, any book that you would ever imagine or could want, they have it. So if your local Liberty Books doesn't have a book, go over on Fabingo.com, and they have books. This is not sponsored in any way. Just by the way, my brother ordered books from them way back, and he told me about it because I wanted a couple of books. So I ordered them. Two of my books are here. Two of them are gonna come after a month because they're being shipped from the UK, I believe. I have Fangirl. I've been wanting to read this, but I just wasn't getting time because obviously I was giving an exam and my exam required a lot of studying. So I finally got this because now I'm done with the exam and I can read. The next one I got is Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. And if you guys follow her on YouTube, Zoella, I really really like her she's like one of my favorite youtubers to watch she's so positive all the time and yes I bought this one so if you look closely then you will see my skin is like really red that is because yesterday I went in for my second treatment uh, for dermabrasion and uh, I went after a while because my skin was I was getting a lot of whiteheads and I also feel it's because of the weather and obviously it's really hot and humid but I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to go in and have a treatment. So I got one done before May, but I couldn't go again because I was busy with exams. So I was like, okay, this is a good time to go before Eve. So that is why I went yesterday and it takes a while healing. So right now it's, I feel like I've been skinned, but yeah, it gets a lot better. Your skin texture gets really better after the treatment. So I would highly recommend it to anyone who has like acne problems and I've, I've spoken about this in like full detail what it is what happens after that how your skin becomes after the treatment uh, in a blog post I'll link that down below if you want to read it uh, but yeah I really like the results and I'm just waiting for this to heal because I look really really bad with like redness all over my face and the only downside of this it hurts a lot when you get it done so if you're someone who doesn't like a lot of pain then I wouldn't recommend this to you but if you're someone who is okay in bearing pain then go check it out it's good hey guys so today is Monday and that means back to work so sad it's really tough waking up in the morning I feel like that's a challenge but I always wake up on time I feel like I'm more on time this month even though I'm super lazy which is great really proud of myself for that I wake up 7 30 dot and I feel really fresh after waking up I feel like when you get that habit of waking up early you don't really lie in for long and then you have more time to do whatever you want in the day so like at the weekends I woke up at like maximum nine o'clock and then I had so much time to do things if that makes sense so I'm on my way for my hair appointment and I am rushing because it's supposed to be at 1 and it's 12.45 already and here is me done. Um, I got toning done so I got the redness out of my hair and the blonde is back. Cool. Hello everyone. So we're ready and we're going to a bridal. No wait, a baby shower. Yay! And I'm not very happy with my skin today because I've been having issues with it. Because I got the treatment done and I got, I got these two as a bonus gift. And I don't know why this doesn't usually happen and my skin was uh, pretty pimple free. But as soon as you gotta go somewhere, they pop up from somewhere or the other. So Rupert and Ben, very much present. Anyway, I will show you my outfit. I am wearing this shirt. I got this ages ago and I got this from AliExpress. Then again, this kimono kind of thing I got from AliExpress again. And uh, me pants are from Topshop. These are the Joni jeans and I absolutely love how they fit. And look at Bubs. Bubs, show them your hair. I made Bubs' hair. They look so pretty. Wait, hold on. Move, move so I can. <gasps> look at this. It's so pretty, Bubs. I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. You told me to put the camera's battery in the bag. And when I opened the bag, I saw something very unusual. We took it out because it was taking like, too much space. And my skin's been pretty dry, so I feel like I won't need it. How do I look? Nice. I know I've vlogged bits and pieces 
and I don't know if that makes sense but I think I'm gonna upload the vlog just like that so I hope you enjoyed the vlog and right now it is a weekend and I am gonna start by cleaning up stuff look at my room just look at my room how dirty is it like it's been like this for I think a good amount of two weeks and it's really sad but I'm just gonna start cleaning this up um, yeah I'm gonna start by cleaning uh, uh, clean up my room and if anything else exciting happens then you will see that in the next week's vlog I'm trying to get back to vlogging so yeah I'll catch you later